everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Finding of Ice Gantry, but this is a big one. We're going for win 30. Start with the pony. Seems like a tier stat might be slightly higher and damage stat lower, but now that I look at this, it might have been inverted in my head. Six J... I get J's and G's confused all the time. I'm always like, my favorite actor, Games Cagney. Doesn't make any sense. 6J, 8P, GP, 6P. I feel like there's probably a good phonetic-ness you could use there, but uh, I'm just going to ignore it and focus on the task at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I let him understand it from a young G's perspective. And before I have consensual intercourse with a lady, I have to grab a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning her man and learning her man. And at the same time, picking up Mr. Boom to get one closer to the mythical Mr. Boom transformation, which does not exist. Um, alright, I'm being silly to start with here. We can get silly later once the run looks great. How does it look right now? This is like a 7 out of 10 start. When I first saw it, I was like, ah, this is like a 5. But... Actually, our damage is good. Rainbow Baby's helping out. You know, later in the game, it's probably going to become a little bit less useful. But for now, it's it's really effective. It kind of just giving us a little bit of Sylvester Stallone-esque, over-the-top style uh, damage that we need to kill these enemies fast. Quickly, I guess I should say. And um, the pony's uh, active effect is going to be nice, on occasion at least, for taking out some rooms that are previously annoying. Uh, do we really have to encounter this many big rooms right off the bat? Like, it's a little ridiculous, don't you think? Figured, with a battery charge on this room, we might as well go for it. Man, there's nine cents right off the bat as well. Um, but yeah, like, the, the pony, again, it's... It may lose its usefulness at some point, but for now, it's actually quite good. And I think it's a lot better than the, uh, the unicorn horn. The stump, I'd have to consider, but the unicorn horn... I think we've, we've got the right idea here. So we're going to have several keys. Uh, we could... It, it's a bit of a crapshoot right now. We could go to the shop and buy a spirit heart or at least try to buy a spirit heart. We've got the keys, we got the money, but I'd really like to have one more cent. So that if we buy a spirit heart, we'll still have enough to get an arcade on the next floor. So rarely... I'm just going to pop the devil right now. So rarely do we have a chance to accomplish both. But we may be able to do that here. And especially considering we started with such high HP... And don't let anybody fool you. Watching other content creators, Isaac Streamers, YouTubers, if they're telling you 3 H... Oh my lord, Magic Mush. I picked it up and then it dawned on me. But if they're telling you, you know, this is not an amazing Eden start, I don't know what they're smoking, to be honest with you. Because this is uh, lovely so far. You know what? We're going to try to shoot for the moon. We need four cents here. Oh, we did it. I am the greatest man that's ever lived. We also got a luck upgrade out of it. So this is going to give us a good chance at an arcade. Who knows if that contributes to us getting a blood bag or enough money to buy chaos on the next arcade or something like that. The flowchart is working out extremely well right now. No question about that. Now, I think we will go to the curse room. I'm relatively unafraid about uh, losing more HP because we do have uh, really good damage now. Uh, spiders and a spirit heart. Good. So we gained half a spirit heart for coming into that room. And a full charge on the pony's uh, active item, which is not that meaningful. But as you might expect, I'm trying to get the guppy dream complete. We got our deal with the devil the uh, the new fashion way. And honestly, let's not take Brother Bobby. Kind of sucks that I cost myself a, uh, you know, f easy finish on that room. But whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Now, do you want to go Book of Revelations... Here's what I'm thinking. We should be able to get all of these. And at least give ourselves... Excuse me? I was flying? We should at least be able to use all of these. But do I want to stick with Book of Revelations? Or do I want to stick with the pony? There we go. Got the pill at least. Um, well, that sucks. Uh, we, let's use Book of Revelations. I think we'll stick with the pony though. I'm just a streamer, looking for a good streak. Doesn't need to be cobalt-esque, and just enough to get my self-esteem. Do I want to compromise, get rid of the pony? Just to get a few spirit hearts, that's not the way I live my life. If you're horny, get better. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics to Pony. I should, re for the amount that I try to reference Genuine's 1996 magnum opus Pony, 
I really should listen to the song more often. Because I'm just making a fool out of myself here. I mean, I guess that's kind of like what I do professionally, but still. Uh, we are just crushing it in the damage department right now. We really don't give a shit about a deal with the devil at this point because we've already seen the deal and uh, I probably have no interest in picking up Brother Bobby regardless. So if there's any way that I could get myself into a position where I don't... Uh, oh man, Rotten Baby's so good. Where I don't get a deal with the devil, that would be as close to ideal as we could muster here. Okay, I know I'm being rude to our donation machine here. I really want to secure this victory, though. So we only got the 14 cents there. I was hoping to basically get more than a bomb's worth of value for that. And we, we didn't really, because we lost out on our chance to go to the secret room, but it's okay. How did we kill that guy? I guess our shots are just large enough that we hit them? It's a little weird, though. Um, we are absolutely destroying here. I think I'm happier with the pony. Knowing that we're not going to get an active ability to fly, or a passive ability to fly, I should say, on that boss fight. I think the pony gives us a lot of agility. And, uh, I mean that both in a literal sense and also in the sense that it allows us to, you know, A, move quickly, but also B, um, keep the pace of the run up, which I think is important. You know, the less time we spend on rooms, the less likely we are to take damage on them, I think, for the most part. Um, that's not to say that, you know, playing rashly is smart, but rather... The ability to finish a room quickly, if it doesn't cause you to take less damage, it certainly does correlate with you taking less damage. And I'm not going to get into the whole causation versus correlation debate. You know, this isn't freshman year of a statistics class in university. Um, rather, I'll just say that I'm not going to make any enemies on this run. Uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna play things relatively by the book. And if we get a chance for zaniness, then even better. But 30 wins in a row. Has gotten me, it, we're not quite there yet, but it, it, if we get it, it's gotten me to the point where the past streak is in the rear view, and that feels good, man. Like, we can actually start, I think we can start labeling a win streak of 30 wins as quote-unquote the streak. The streak 3.0 or whatever. And I'm excited by the prospect. Nah, you know what? I'm having a great time with my existing tiers. I actually don't really want Epic Fetus. I don't want the D10 either, but, you know, let's just push active items out. Saving my bomb for, like, spirit art chances. Kidney stone's fine, but I, I wanted something slightly more conventional. And I think uh, Mom's Contact definitely fits the bill there. Or should I say fits the ball? The eyeball! Because it's a contact lens. I've never worn contact lenses, actually. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. When I, I, I didn't wear glasses until I was in, like, fifth grade. And the reason is because I had a terrible family doctor. You know, when I was younger, I needed... Uh, I needed glasses. My vision was terrible. But every time I went to the family doctor, he was just like, well, you're probably never going to be able to become a fighter pilot. But you don't need glasses. I think he was he was old. Like, he was in his 60s or 70s in the 90s. So he was born in, like, the 1920s, basically. He was pretty old school. Um, probably like, well, what? Do you want your son to get beaten up at school? That's what we did to people with glasses back in my day. You know, I'd, I've been fixing legs out in the battlefields of World World War II when you're going to come to me with your son as slight astigmatism. It's offensive. Um, don't think we really want anything here. He, he wasn't, he was perfectly friendly. But uh, at the same time, kind of let me down in the op optics department for a while. But anyway, when I got glasses, I was like, man, this sucks. I got to get glasses. Because as a kid, you really, you know, hey, four eyes, you think it's like a terrible thing to wear glasses. But honestly, especially after embracing my uh, baldness, I think glasses have done a really good job of framing my face. Especially as a very pale man, I have like no facial definition. You know, I got my jaws okay, but it's either like you gotta roll a beard or you gotta have some glasses to like delineate the skin on your face to let people know what they should, you know, make eye contact with. Otherwise, it's just a blob of flesh, so... So I'm actually, like, I'm stylistically pro-glasses. I don't wear glasses with no lenses in them. The lenses are actually pretty thick, you know. My eyes are getting, you know, horrible because that's the way it goes as you get a little older here. But, you know, I, I appreciate that at least they break up my face a little bit as well. You know, we got some rule of thirds stuff going on. Anyway, there's my vanity for today. Uh, we got IV bag, which is irrelevant, but the amount of money we picked up is quite nice. And really, the run is just, like... It's fine right now. I got nothing too positive to say about it. I got nothing too negative to say about it. 
In fact, you know what? I have a lot of really positive stuff to say about it. I was incorrect in my earlier assessment. We are doing actually like a lot of damage. And, um, you know, running into a room that kind of sucks like that one seems to right off the bat is not that bad. We have to be honest that... Um, ooh, i be a little careful here. Um, we've gotten really lucky with our item drops so far. Mom's contact in particular was a nice one, even if it did show up a little later but look at that like that's that's the value of mom's contact plus an orbital right there so i'm really glad we at least used book of revelations once there was no reason not to but i'm really glad we did and i have to say i'm weirdly sort of proud right now that this run is like as of right now faster than the mega run it's pretty unlikely to stay there but for now it's doing good work and the other thing is like we're um you know x floors in right now where x equals i guess four which is a really ham-fisted way of introducing how far we are in the game. However, if you look on the right side, we haven't really gotten that many items uh, on the item tracker, but what's lovely is that like pretty much all of them have been useful, and that doesn't happen all the time. So, um, we have maybe not that many items, but a very high concentration of great ones. Not even good, great. So, uh, you know what? Let's try this. It's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. And sure, Swallowed Penny. Strange Attractor again. I think because our tiers do a decent amount of damage, I don't mind Strange Attractor here. Uh, but I don't know. I, I don't really know what Second Hand does, but I'm going to stick with it. This could be a big moment for us. I'm thinking we got a good chance at a, well, at first off, wasting our active effect on the pony. But secondly, on getting a, a deal with the devil that could mean some important stuff for us. Start with HP plus luck up, which I'm for. And you know what? I'll accept Lump of Coal. Krampus' head, I wouldn't be offended. You did give me lump of coal when I needed it the most, so sure. This is fine. We'll head down to the next floor. I, I can't deny it, we're making amazing time. But I would love to uh, just get a little stronger. Of course, boss rush is a, a chance there. Rotten Baby's doing some amazing work for us thus far. Um, seven bombs. You may want to consider looking for a teleportation card, but don't really want to invest too heavily. And the other thing that's kind of like the elephant in the room right now is uh, a lack of keys, but... Alright, disregard. <laughs> the other thing is a lack of a solid gold toilet in my bathroom. And I'll see if the, the gods of fate have deemed it appropriate to give me one of those. Just like they gave me some extra keys there after the video's over. I'll keep you posted. The odds are no. To be honest, I don't even want a solid gold toilet. Because, like is more trouble than it's worth. We're renting, so I'd have to be like, hey landlord, we got this solid gold toilet, but I earned it through the power of positive thinking, so I'm gonna go take it in. How do you even sell gold? Like, do you have to go to the government or something? Canada Revenue Association or agency is gonna be like, where'd you get all this money from? I'd be like, solid gold toilet just appeared in my bathroom, and they're gonna be like, yeah, okay. By the way, welcome to jail forever. It just, again, it's more trouble than it's worth. So, maybe just $10 million in unmarked bills. Unmarked and non-sequential. I don't know why either of these things are important, but they always are in the movies that I've seen. Oh, dude, this is a little bit of a bummer. You know, we got money, but you're not even going to let me donate. And you took my last key. And you gave me addicted. Magician is, I mean, we knew a magician was coming there, but you still gotta try. At this point, we're, we're basically treating our uh, our blood bank as if it's a, a factory for luck upgrades. Anything that gives us extra luck upgrades on the chest. I'm starting to learn, you know? It's worth picking up the pennies a lot of the time. First off, because why wouldn't you? Mostly, like, laziness. I do think, I've got, said it in a tangent many times. I think laziness is a valid excuse in our society. You know, we're, we're all focused on that Rihanna song. Eh, well, let me, uh, all I want to do is work, 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 work. But, uh... It's not really a song, it's more of a piece. Like, in the same way that Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is, you know, up there as far as summer bangers go. Um, but laziness, you know, it's, it's the time when you can recharge. It's important uh, to take that time, I think. But... I'm feeling motivated right now, so we should take advantage of that as well. We're going to stick with the pony and reroll this, although I'm happy to have the chariot card. Sure, I will take quad shot. Probably the second best of all the uh, 
tier multipliers here, just in terms of multiplying your sheer number of tiers. Obviously, 2020 has got to be up there at the top, but uh, Quant Shot, I think, is uh, a marked cut below it, but still really good. 2020 is legitimately, like, probably in the top few items in the game. So not, not every... Not every item can aspire to that level. This would be an awesome secret room. I don't trust that bomb. Okay, I should have trusted that bomb. We've been to the shops, we've found both item rooms. We're just lacking a key to get the uh, second item room taken care of here. You could please just move away, that's ideal. There we go. All right, now we can focus on boss rush. And with only um, eight bombs, I think the odds of us cracking into a skull and grabbing one are probably pretty low. Let's see what we got in here, though. Oh, okay. Now we've got, first off, unlimited bombs. And then uh, Ipecac Quad Shot, which is fairly awesome. Our rate of fire is going to be a slight issue, but the damage output is going to be amazing. So this is going to be <laughs> an explosive way to end this run. Okay, let's come up this way. I think we might actually want to do boss rush in this situation, but we'll see how the we'll see how the situation looks here once we get through the first boss fight. And I'm going to try to avoid the use of the word situation because it's getting a little ridiculous. PJs, I didn't there's a you learn something new that you're going to forget every day. Uh, and that's that PJs gives us full HP or at least a lot of HP. I had no idea. Fly, spider, fly, piercing shots. <sighs> I think maybe I'll. Oh, we're only 15 minutes into the run. You gotta take something. So I'm gonna take Sagittarius. Even even though I don't know if piercing shots actually do much for us here, I'm gonna take it uh, so that we can at least get the speed upgrade. By the way, I recognize we do have this chariot card. I'm sort of at a loss for what to do with it, but we should use the pony as well. But um, I don't know how we killed Blast Assist in one hit. Uh, maybe it was like the piercing shot hit like so many times that if it spawns the enemy like a couple of frames after the actual death of the original enemy, it works. But I was, anyway, we, I have no idea. I'm just prognosticating here that... Maybe piercing shots actually did some good stuff for us here. So that's actually the first time that I felt like we had a decent window to use the pony because the uh, orbital kind of lined up with it. I don't think this was an amazing boss rush, but you know our damage is going to be such that it, it doesn't really matter. It's still it's still decent enough. It's still real to me, damn it. Okay, so just make sure to land. You know, if you land like two out of the four shots, most enemies are going to go down pretty quickly, for example. Alright, huge whiff, but it's like Skolex. Skolex is basically fucked as soon as we land a shot. He he died even though we missed our shot, so that's how much damage we're doing right now. Keep in mind, we do also have um, Rodden Baby here, and Rodden Baby is doing some work, 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 work. I'm glad that Rodden Baby is focused on its level of productivity as a member of Western society. Wow, that was bad damage. But, um, you know, Rotten Baby, if you want to take the next floor off, like, don't take this this room off, because this is a little... I mean, it's not dicey in all likelihood, but it, it could get dicey, potentially. Um, but you have my permission to take the womb one off. If you need to get, you know, your morale up or whatever, I think that's good for employee efficiency uh, in the long term. But, obviously, you know, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. That's why I give Michael A.L. Fox so many breaks. I'm joking. He has a good job outside of Twitch and YouTube. I could not possibly lord any power over him. Okay. That was terrible. I, in, in fact, I've evaluated that situation and said to myself, Yeah, you probably won't get hit here. And then I got hit there and felt a little stupid about it. Well, got to be getting pretty close to the end of this, honestly. Yeah, it's already over. We got Little Chub out of it, which is not that good. Little Chubby. Little Chub is what you get when you see uh, uh, the nipples on the statue of the Scales of Justice. That was like the strangest reference to an old-ish David Cross joke that I could possibly have mustered there. I'm also going to try to stop using the word mustard because it just makes me hungry. 
It's been like a long time since I've had a hot dog. I was just thinking about it. Like literally right when I said mustard, even though I meant the other kind of mustard, you know, to have mustard something, to pass muster, I don't know. I don't know what these words mean. Couple times a year, I just get this, I mean, this, you can warp this obviously, you sickos out there, but couple times a year I get a real craving for like a cheap ass 7-Eleven, like $2, Big Bite Hot Dog. Is that situation approaching us at this present moment? I don't know. It's possible. I'm so, I'm feeling a, a little bit of that fire in my belly right now. Now, am I going to travel all the way to 7-Eleven to get one? No, that would be ridiculous. I'm going to do what everybody who does my profession does and just sit in this chair recording and be hungry for a while and then eat like a third of a block of cheese later because it's the food that I have in the house. Actually, you know, I'll probably go... That'll just become, like, my, like, daily planner. I'll go grocery shopping after this video. Go grocery shopping after this video. Get the oil changed in the car. Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna use Chariot on uh, Demon Judgment here. I don't expect it to pay out, but... I also don't expect to lose on this run, but... Uh, I've been having some relatively poor play lately. We're gonna play this guy, like, once, which is effectively twice, just to get to a half hour interval. Then we're gonna go off on the chariot here and we should get to six plays and he may have a chance to pay out and he did wow that's lovely for us we got hp out of it um honestly that's probably that and tears are the most relevant stat because uh our damage is such that when we hit an enemy they will die so that might have just paid for our deal with the devil here but we'll have to see trinket wise trinket wise it's kind of tempting we'll definitely take succubus Retrovision, question marks, or tears downgrades, which I think means... Oh, this one's a different one. Pretty fly, that's better. Um, I think we'll take Child's Heart just in case. But again, this run is still great. Succubus with the damage multiplier and the actual damage that it does by itself is going to be awesome. Um, are we going to... F wow. Are we going to fight Hush? It's possible, but I'd say given the, the kind of confluence that we have here in our uh, amount of keys and... Our amount of HP? The answer to this question may well be no. Am I losing my mind? And these are not necessarily mutually exclusive. But... Or... Is uh, Succubus doing like an incredible amount of damage here? I mean, it's normally good. But it seems like it's killing enemies all by itself. Uh, in a fashion that I wouldn't have normally considered too likely. Like killing that enemy down there in like half a second makes no sense to me. Do we have like something that's multiplying the damage from Succubus? Or is is our damage tied to Succubus? I was under the impression that Succubus' damage, uh, we're getting real tiny here, was independent. Like, it, no matter what your damage was, it did like X damage in a radius around it. But I, I'm thinking now that maybe I'm mistaken, and maybe it actually does like a fraction or, or a multiplication even of your damage uh, in a radius instead. Because it, it certainly seems like it's actually just kicking the shit out of these enemies. And if that's actually how it works, that's incredible. It, I mean, it was already great, but this is a, a little step above. It's got a double key room. It does scare me a little bit, but we haven't had one of these in a while. You know what? I think we would love to do this floor over again. Uh, especially with uh, the chance of getting an extra deal with the devil out of it. The Womb 2 is one of the worst floors to have to do again. I mean, obviously, like... Doing the Cathedral again is, is probably the worst. But then the Womb 2 is down there as well. But I still think it could be fun for us here. Like, we didn't gain too, too much here. Um, if, if anything, actually. But we're just going to do it again. Why not? Th that floor took all of a minute and a half. Why is the Cathedral the worst? Because the chest has harder enemies most of the time. All the time. Uh, but you get four items every time you loop. That's why looping was so much fun uh, when you could do it with Undefined. But... Uh, the, the Cathedral, you're not guaranteed any items. And in fact, the only the only way the Cathedral is actually beneficial from an item generation standpoint is if you have Pandora's Box, I think. So, um, this appears to be like exactly the same layout. I think we've noticed that before, but... Definitely noticing it now, and... Oh, they still got us! <laughs> I thought we might be safe there. And, well, at least we got another luck upgrade, and we know exactly where to go to get the... Uh, to get the uh, the boss fight going here. 
And we did get an HP upgrade, as long as we don't take damage on the uh, the mom fight, or the, the room preceding it. But So I'd, I'd say in the end it ended up being worth it, we got a luck upgrade uh, over and above the one that we already had. Look at the damage that Succubus did there. I didn't land a single shot, that is all Succubus. That's ridiculous. No deal with the devil, but hey, that one took all of a minute. So I think we'll be happy that we traded a Spirit Heart for an HP upgrade and a luck upgrade. That seems fine by me. And again, odds of the loss here, quite low. Spirit Hearts? Ooh, small Rocks also great. Kind of, at this point, our damage is good enough that I, I want, uh... I want, uh, HP more than anything. But... Let's be real. Our HP is probably acceptable. I think, honestly, this is like a revelation for me. That Succubus appears to be tied to your own damage. Now, you might be arguing, Hey, you idiot. You know, you played this game so much you didn't even know that. Yo, know, life is about embracing learning experiences, not hiding your ignorance so that you don't feel embarrassed on the internet about things you don't know, right? Like, I'd, I'd rather tell you what I don't know than tell you what I know. That way I can learn and be selfish. Whereas if I tell you what I know, you're going to be like, Oh, teach me how to doggy, teach me how to doggy. And I'll be like, Oh, why does everyone keep asking me that? So we're going to drop High Priest. High Priestess. High Priest is from uh, Gungeon. Is actually named the Fallen Priest, if I remember correctly. But either way. Lovely. Uh, but what I was going to say is that if I ever end up doing like a ranking list, this has brought Succubus up. This is like, oh, almost like Incubus level, I feel. On certain runs, at least. On runs where your damage is good. So we'll take all these items, even number one. It hasn't lowered our range enough to be dangerous to us. Um, and it will raise our rate of fire to the point where we're much better off. So number one was actually a huge get for us here. And you know what? This is like nearly 100% uh, a win here. You know what? If deals with the devil can go above 100%, I think our percentage chance of a win can go above 100% as well. I'm going to call this a 110% win chance. So... We're going to be at 30 wins. Thank you guys so much for all the support over this. You know, it, it, it's not like a post-mortem. It's not like win 31, I'm going to just, or on win 31, I'm just going to, you know, throw the run or anything like that. But, uh, you know, these milestones are good opportunities to say thank you. It's because of your continuing support that the, uh, the Isaac series keeps going here. And I really feel like the content of the Isaac series keeps getting better. I, I play better. I play in a way that... Uh, is more conducive to entertainment, I feel, as well. Still keeping that zaniness without just, you know, nearly deliberately throwing runs by doing incredibly dumb shit. Um, and I, I'm proud of the commentary in, in the recent episodes as well. But uh, we're going to finish this one off in 30 wins, and, you know, here's to 100 more, hopefully. And it is... It might be slightly faster than the last run. The one where we had Mega, hilariously enough. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. For now, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.